Welcome to the Hooksit Library's 2022 Candidates Forum, a series that helps connect voters with those running for elected offices in Hooksit. I'm Brittany Overton, the Adult Services Librarian at Hooksit Library. In this video, we talk with Michael Kotliarski, who is running for a seat on the Budget Committee. Michael, thank you for taking the time to share with us your interest in the Budget Committee. Let's start off by having you tell us a little bit about yourself and the experiences that you've had that you feel would support you on the Budget Committee. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Michael Kadlarski, you mentioned. Uh, I, uh, I uh, was born and raised in what is now Ukraine, but was a Soviet Union at the time. There was no distinction between Ukraine and Russia, even though currently those countries are almost at war with each other. Uh, I came to this country in uh, the beginning of 1990. Uh, by education, I am an electrical engineer and uh, I graduated college here in uh, New York in computer science. And I have been working my whole career as a programmer, software engineer, mostly in the financial industry. So I was working in New York in various uh, companies that uh, Wall Street and uh, similar banks. Uh, few years ago, my family moved to New Hampshire from New York City. Uh, my wife is also a software engineer. She works uh, at a company that's uh, based in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. I, uh, we have five children. Our oldest is uh, 20. He's in, uh, attending college, studying for, for an engineer. And he's a member of the New Hampshire National Guard. Uh, my oldest daughter is also in uh, studying in SNU right now. And uh, my younger children are in, in school. In Hooksett, uh, two are in the Hooksett uh, Middle School and one is attending Pinkerton Academy. Great, thank you. What is your opinion of the current municipal budget? Are there areas that you feel need greater consideration in the future? I cannot really venture an opinion right now. I am going to look into that. But from what little I know, I don't think you have enough information to, to form a reasonable opinion. Okay. And this next question has two parts. What approach would you take for reviewing budget requests and helping to draft municipal and school budgets? And the second part is, how do you see this as being an effective process for budgeting? Well, in general, would be my general approach dealing with budget would be to see what are the factors outside our control that just affect general level prices and such wages, which uh, we are a smaller state and a big economy and not really affect much. So those have to be accommodated and then see what are the major changes or significant changes that are required because uh, usually changes could be disruptive and uh, it's uh, harder to break something than to, to improve it. So that's, uh, that would be my main areas of concern. Thank you. And how would you balance the taxpayer's expense with the need for services? Well, uh, 
we definitely don't want services and infrastructure to deteriorate because that would affect a lot of other expenses, uh, including you know maintenance. People would have to provide their own accommodations, which will cost money, and uh, the value of uh, real estate would probably be affected. So it's 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 a very hard. I mean, it's it's basically impossible to come up with complete you know, balance because you don't know how much something will be affected. But uh, you know, if the road is not good and somebody hits a pothole and will have to spend a few hundred dollars on that, you have to add it to what what would be paid through through, through taxes. So you can save in something and a lot of cases when people waste much more money than they save. But at the same time, people have to understand what's going on because a lot of uh, good projects, if people don't support them, it's better not to not to enact them until there is a there is a widespread support because they could be discredited if people are not willing to to participate or not willing to consider all the sides. Thank you. And the last question, what would be your approach to planning for large future expenses, say the replacement of a fire engine? How would you plan for that? Oh, that's, that's uh, usually it would be just, uh, you know, created a capital fund that would be you know, knowing the expense usually split into whatever 10, 12 years, and the sum is deposited to that account. But uh, in the, I, I suspect in, in the current uh, situation when we are likely to, to see inflation, those calculations may be inadequate. So it may be required to, at some point, to come up with, with uh, with uh, the increase of the cost of the vehicle or some, such such expense. With increased inflation, with increasing inflation, you cannot really adjust for that. If you if you put in more money in the beginning, that value could be wiped out by inflation as well. So maybe safer to you know it's 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 a uh, it's complicated issue. I mean, ideal situation, we would want to be like fully funded. So any capital that's being worn out at any given year would be as close as possible compensated by capital fund increase. Great. Thank you, Michael. It's been great to hear your thoughts on the budget committee. All right.